I'd like to take a few moments to go over how you can configure your very first operations dashboard. It's worth noting that there are a few ways to go about this. By selecting the app launcher and then the operations dashboard icon, you'll be directed to your operations dashboard main page. Here, you'll find all your dashboards that have been previously configured as well as those that have been shared with you. From this page, you also have the ability to create a dashboard. A dashboard started here will be blank, meaning it won't be populated by web map or any other web elements. There is a second way to configure a dashboard with a blank slate. This can be achieved by selecting the Create button in the content page and selecting Using Operations Dashboard. So let's see how this looks like. I'll provide a title, my first dashboard, and a tag, and then select OK. As you'll see, this first dashboard will be blank. It'll be at this point that I can begin adding elements like web maps, graphs, and charts. Now let's say that I've I already have in mind that the map which map will be part of my dashboard. So there's two ways of going about this. I'll first locate the desired web map. In this case it's called Grocery Stores in Toronto and it contains points of grocery stores in the city that participated in a fundraising event. From its items detail page, I'll select create web app and further select which kind of app I'd like. I'll populate with the title and tags appropriate and then select OK. I'll exit out of this wizard and open this map in Map Viewer. In a given scenario, I may have just finished editing my map, and I'm now ready to share it, share it in an app. In that case, I would select the Share button, and I would select this button at the bottom, Create a Web App. At this point, I can select Operations Dashboard, give the appropriate name, and select Done. As you'll see, at this point, my operations dashboard, unlike the other one I configured, is populated with one element, a map. At this point, I can configure this map element or add my charts and graphs. In the next video, you'll see how to configure other elements and see how they all work together.